What started as a sketch on a napkin, now $413 million later, the Kaufman Center for the Performing Arts <laughs> is getting ready to open its doors. Sloan Heller is live downtown where a dedication ceremony just wrapped up. Sloan, good morning. Good morning, Curtis. Well, Governor Jay Nixon uh, truly compared the Kaufman Performing Arts Center to the Sydney Opera House, to the Guggenheim in Spain. Uh, because of the size, the unique design, the acoustics inside, the hope is a lot of people out here talking today that this will really put Kansas City on the worldwide map when it comes to performing arts. The architect, Moshe Softy from Israel, actually sketched his design, if you couldn't believe it or not, on a cocktail napkin five years years ago. Now it's complete. It's being called an architectural wonder. Two theaters inside where you can watch ballet, opera, and the symphony, and the acoustics, as I mentioned, really, really putting this on the map. The same person who did the acoustics for the Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles also did the acoustics here. Yasu Toyota is the acoustician, and he did the Disney, but he sa even he says this one is better, and uh, it's supposed to be the finest in the world at the moment, and who knows what will come online in five or ten years. And then our theater, which is a little bit of an unsung hero to date, it has one of the largest stages in America, as big as Lincoln Center, the largest amount of fly space. Two theaters, as you can see, side by side. The acoustics are being called so incredible. There will be simultaneous performances, uh, ballet, you know, symphony, the lyric opera going on, if you can imagine, at the same time. That's how incredible these acoustics are. Now, Friday and Saturday, there are fundraisers, which include performances. Those are all sold out. If you don't have a ticket, unfortunately, you are out of luck. But Sunday, that is the free open house, your chance, 11 to 6, to come check out the Kaufman Performing Arts Center and also, by the way, the new Arts District parking garage, which is now open, and that'll make life a whole lot easier when you come downtown. We're live in front of the Kaufman, Sloan Heller, NBC Action News. Oh, it is a great looking building. Sloan, thank you. And you can join us this Sunday for our two hour special on the Kaufman Center Open House. We're going to have live reports from the Performing Arts Center from 8 to 10 Sunday morning. The Open House is from 11 to 6. More than 40 of Kansas City's finest performing arts groups composed of about 450 individual artists will perform.